All right, welcome to our first day of chemistry uh, in a remote learning environment. So what we want to do today uh, is go over our norms uh, for how we're going to uh, uh, do things in this distance learning environment, where you find things uh, in our Canvas website, um, and then a little kind of get to know each other activity. Uh, we're not going to move too fast today, but um, uh, I do want to get things started in the right direction. So let's start off with our norms uh, on Zoom. And um, first uh, norm is that when uh, you are um, uh, on the Zoom classroom, I want you to be present. And so what that means is I'd like you to have your uh, video on and I will leave it up to you whether your audio is on. It's all right to turn that off if you think that the audio is going to be disturbing or noisy to other people uh, in the room. Um, remember our chat window is not for personal chat. It is only to ask questions uh, directed at me. Okay. Um, all right. So Hopefully you found your way onto the uh, Canvas site. And so uh, navigating that, you're gonna come down to our first Bitmoji classroom and start out with just unit one, climate change, that very first uh, item on the menu. And it should bring you to this page, the 1.0 unit one, introduction to climate change and gases. Now another way that you could have gotten here is you could go to calendar and then just click on today's date and that would bring you here or you could go to modules um, and modules would bring you here as well so in this first um, uh, activity what we're going to do is trade some stories I'm going to uh, share a personal story with you and your assignment is to uh, share a personal story uh, with me. And so this assignment uh, is a hyperlink, and so you can click on that, and it will take you over uh, to uh, the actual assignment. Uh, I'd like you to write uh, the story uh, in a Google Doc, and then you can either submit it as a Google Doc or a PDF right into Canvas. So. I'm going to go back and uh, tell you a little story. Um, go back over to here. Uh, one of the things that I enjoy doing uh, with my wife and my son is scuba diving. Um, and one of the uh, more interesting scuba trips that my son and I took was a cold water diving trip into the Northern uh, California mountains during late October. And so there was already uh, a bit of ice uh, on the lake. The lake was very cold. And we worked hard before we went on this trip to make sure that we would be safe because diving in cold water is, is actually pretty dangerous. No amount of preparation lets you be ready when you put your face in 32 degree water. It takes your breath away, it is unpleasant, um, and uh, uh, my face started to get numb as we went down into the water. Um, uh, my brain hurt like eating ice cream and you get brain freeze. But we actually uh, saw some wonderful things underwater that we might not have seen uh, at other times. So doing things sometimes that are a little unpleasant actually create some nice memories. We have a holiday coming up, which is uh, Halloween. And I don't know if we're going to get to do Halloween um, this year. There's, there's thoughts we may not. This is my grandson, Michael. When he was beginning to do something a little unpleasant, What I want you to do is stick your hand down in a pumpkin. No, really? I am not going to do that. Why? Because I want to go reach your back on it. No, reach your hand way down in there. 
See all that goopy gunk in there? Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. No, it's not. Well, put your hand in there. Here, come here. No. Seriously. No. Stand up. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Right here. Grab a fistful. Put it right here. Come on, you gotta get a fistful of it. Get in there. Let me have a big spoon. A big spoon? Yes! Really, this is all yucky. Seriously, I'm not going to do it anymore. Yay! Nana, Papa's... So, obviously, Michael did not like putting his hand down in that pumpkin. That was pretty yucky. Well... When it comes to distance learning, here's the moral to my story. We are all going to have to do some things that are pretty yucky, that we don't really want to do, that are gonna hurt our brains. Um, but you know what? Uh, when we get all done with this year of distance learning, you are going to be even better students than you are today because study habits, time management, uh, use of technology, all of those things will have improved. And yes, it is going to be harder. Uh, it is going to be much harder for teachers and for students because the students have to be responsible. You're going to have to be much more engaged. Um, it's going to be hard because you're not near your friends, but when it's all done and you're looking back at this year, um, it'll be one of those things like sticking your hand in the pumpkin for the very first time and realizing how really yucky it was and then looking back at it and saying, ah, it wasn't that bad. Um, it wasn't all that yucky and uh, not that I want to do it again, but um, I'm a better person for it. So that's my story. And so what I would like you to do uh, as your assignment tonight after class is to think of a little story. It doesn't have to have a moral ending to it. Um, you can think of uh, a recent event, something you like, something you enjoy, but I would like it to be a little story that will help me get to know you better about it, perhaps a pet, a trip you took, um, your favorite course, something that uh, happened between you and a friend or you and a family member. Um, it can be a happy uh, story or it can be a sad story. Uh, so, at any rate, um, the assignment is on Canvas and all you have to do is um, go on to Canvas, look for that assignment, a personal story, and go ahead and submit it.